We're back at the moose party. There was a lot going on that day. And here we've got TJ with a broken antler. He's approached Flattop to see if maybe Flattop would be willing to spar with him. Kind of unusual that a one antlered little upstart like TJ would want to spar with the likes of Flattop, but then again, he's obviously been fighting above his weight class. So, what's a little spar with a big bull like Flattop, right? It's always interesting watching these exchanges. We've seen it countless times. Young bulls being mentored by the big bulls. Flattop just stands there and lets little TJ kind of bounce his one good antler off his rack until it's time to maybe stop. TJ's smart. He doesn't want to press his luck with Flattop. But this is a party. There are other moose here. So surely he can find somebody else to mix it up with. But he's got to watch his step because Flattop's been playing chaperone. Or maybe I should say bouncer. Here's another little broken antlered bull with Alexander Graham Bell. Meanwhile, here we have the three little hoodlums that were hanging out in the kids' corner. Oh yeah, now it's a party. And Alexander Graham Bell comes along to break them up. When little bulls mount other little bulls, it doesn't mean anything. It's just an act of dominance. Other animals do it too, of course. All three of these bulls are what we call long yearlings. They're not quite a year and a half at this point, and they should all have antlers, like the one in the foreground, whose rack is pretty much intact. So you can see how much those other two have shredded their little antlers. We've never seen so many like this. But it doesn't stop them, does it? Because boys will be boys. Bad boys. What you gonna do? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.